we have earlier derived the negative feedback amplifier circuit using an op amp which has a very high gain in this lesson we will study this circuit in the limit of a naught tending to infinity okay The circuit we derived was this, where we divide the output using a resistive divider with resistor K minus 1 R and R to get V naught by K. Okay and compare that to the input that is we take the difference between V i and V naught by K that is applied to the input of the op amp. So, the output is strongly driven by the difference between V i and V naught by K. If V naught is too small it is driven strongly positively, if V naught is too large it is driven strongly negatively. So, finally, we saw that V naught is very close to being K times V i. Okay. So, if you had to be exact V naught would be k 1 by 1 plus k by a naught, where a naught is the op amp gain times V i. Okay. Now, if we take the limit of a naught tending to infinity, we see that V naught by V i, which is k 1 by 1 plus k by a naught is exactly equal to k, because as a naught tends to infinity this term here goes to 0. Okay. k by a naught goes to 0 as a naught tends to infinity. Now, if you recall to come up with this circuit, we had originally started with the goal of making an amplifier of gain k that is we wanted V naught by V i equal to k and that is exactly what we get if a naught is infinity. right? So, we get exactly what we were looking for. An op amp whose gain a naught is infinity is known as an ideal op amp. Okay. In other words, an ideal op amp is one where the op amp gain a naught tends to infinity. Okay. So, what happens in such a case? Let us look at it in some more detail. So, I will consider the case of an ideal op amp or a naught being infinite. So, what happens in this case is the following. In this case, V naught is exactly equal to K V i. Okay, this is because A naught is infinity. So that means that this value here, V naught by K, is exactly equal to V i. Okay, and the difference voltage input of the op amp V d equals zero. Okay. So, this is what we get if we set the gain of the op amp to infinity. Okay. So, in this case, the difference input V d of the op amp is 0. Another way of putting it is that the two input terminals of the op amp are at exactly the same voltage. Their difference is 0. So, that means that this terminal and that terminal are at the same voltage.
remember this is a consequence of a not being infinite okay now when you have two nodes and they are shorted to each other those two voltages will be exactly zero okay so if you have two nodes and you place a short between them the difference between the two node voltages will be exactly zero in this case the difference between this node voltage and that node voltage that is the node to which the two inputs of the op amp are connected that difference is zero it's not as though they are connected by a wire okay so there is no short circuit between them but because their difference is forced to be zero by negative feedback when a not equals infinity they are known as being virtually shorted okay you may see this description in various forms sometimes you say that the two inputs of the op amp are at the same voltage or that they are virtually shorted and sometimes it's also called as the virtual short at the input of the op amp and so on they all mean the same thing what it means is that the two input terminals of the op amp have the same voltage so that their difference is zero and this happens only when a not equals infinity and it happens because of negative feedback okay now because they have the same voltage but are not actually shorted to each other they are called as being virtually shorted to each other okay now the op amp is a voltage control voltage source with a difference input vd and a control source whose value is a not times vd okay now if the input is zero you may think that the output is also zero because it's proportional to the input but remember this input difference is zero only if a not equals infinity and if a not equals infinity this vd is zero the output is a not times vd which is infinity times zero you cannot calculate what the output is by multiplying infinity and zero okay so you have to derive it based on other constraints that i'll consider while uh, talking about analysis of circuits with ideal op amps okay but don't make this mistake that because the input difference voltage of the op amp is zero its output will be zero that's not the case the input difference voltage of the op amp is zero only if the op amp's gain is infinite okay now if the op amp's gain is infinite then as long as the output is finite the input will be zero because the input is the output divided by infinity okay so don't get confused by that when the gain of the op amp is infinity the two inputs will be virtually shorted if they are in negative feedback i will talk more about the op amp being in negative feedback in one of the later lessons okay